Hi Game Changers, I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian. I help softball athletes become Game Changers. Are you a slapper and keep getting mixed information on where you should start in the box? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out where and why it's beneficial to start in the middle back of the box. For the best softball slap hitting tips, drills, motivation, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. When I first started slapping, I was taught to start in the very back of the box. Once I got to college and faced a little bit better pitching, I struggled getting the ball fair. So we made a quick little adjustment of moving myself closer towards the pitcher, and it was a game changer. When I talk about starting middle back, what I mean is if I were to put a line at the top of home plate, I want to straddle that line. What I don't want is I don't want to start all the way in the back with my left leg closest to the catcher. I want to make sure that I'm starting right where the roof of the house is on home plate and I'm straddling that line. So we want to make sure we start in the middle back of the box because we want to maximize the batter's box. We want to get closer to first base. So when I'm getting in my crossed over, I want to be as closest to the field as I possibly can. What I don't want is if I start in the very, very back of the box, when I get, get to my crossed over, I'm crossed over right at the plate. I'm not maximizing the batter's box. So the whole idea of getting as close to the top of the batter's box, that's what we want. We want to maximize the batter's box. This Tasha tip is brought to you by DeMarini. The new DeMarini CFXD is so unique with its adjustable on-demand knob. It not only provides game time adjustment, but it also supplies the power that you need at the plate. Another reason to start middle back is we want to get pitches before they break. So if I start all the way in the back of the batter's box, by the time I get to my crossed over, Pitches are, have already gone where they're supposed to go. So if I get them in front of home plate, I'm going to get those pitches before they break. And the last reason that it's super beneficial to start middle back of the box is we want more fair territory to work with. So again, if I start in the back of the batter's box, if I were to make contact, if I was trying to bounce the ball or use the ground, letting that ball get deep, I'm going to either bounce the ball on top of home plate or behind it and more chances than not, it's gonna go foul. So if I move into the front of home plate, and once I get contact in front of home plate, I'm working with more fair territory. Where have you been taught to stand in the box? Let me know in the comments down below. Now you have some reasons as to why you shouldn't be starting in the back of the box. Where you start in the box is so important in giving you an advantage for when you make contact. And this is something that you want to make sure that you are implementing right away. The moment you become a slapper, the moment you start to hit from the left side as a slapper, you should be starting middle back. You should never start at the back of the batter's box. Even if you're facing fast, fast pitching, I mean, I think challenge yourself to start middle back. And if you have to, of course, you have that option. But always keep in mind, we want to get pitches before they're breaking. We want to make sure that we're getting pitches out in front of home plate. We want more fair territory to work with. So try to challenge yourself to start middle back. I have a three part mini video series on the slapping basics. Download it from the link below. And also, I want you to join my community of softball parents, coaches and players, where we have all conversations about slap hitting. Every week I teach masterclass in the group. Everybody in the group is leaning on one another, posting their challenges, posting their wins. It's a fun, fun place where we just get to talk about slapping. Make sure you hit the link below to join my Slappers Facebook group. If you liked this video, please let me know by commenting, liking, sharing this video. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.